In this video, we're going to see some of the power of the box in with options. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is change some of the ductwork I've already taken off. This ductwork should have been taken off as fresh air duct, but it was taken off inadvertently as return. So I'm going to draw a box around it. And when our box in with option windows pop up, notice some of the things that we could choose to do. We're going to change the settings, and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick the fresh air setting. And the software is going to ask me if I want to change the color, pressure class, specs as well, and of course we do. So it's a matter of boxing in and clicking OK, and that is now fresh air duck. And I can verify this change by double clicking on a line and looking at the edit window. And I can see it's fresh air duck, low pressure. Now some of the other power of the box in with options is to put some areas in an alternate. You've already done your takeoff and alternate drawing shows up. So we've got this area that we're going to change to an alternate. So a box in with options command, I draw my box. Again I'm going to change a setting and I want to pick an alternate. But see we didn't preset this alternate up before we started takeoff. Dot button, the ellipsis button, to create an alternate A. And that's an additive alternate. So Many of the scope items can be set up while in takeoff on the fly. And now I'll be able to apply this alternate to the name. And I'm going to also change the color of this so you can see visually on the screen what items are being changed. And we can see those items were changed. They're now in the fuchsia color. Another useful feature of the box with options is if you have a configuration of ductwork that occurs multiple times throughout the job, it'd be nice to make an assembly out of that. So again, I'm going to do the box in with options. I'm going to change the setting and create an assembly from this. Okay, And this could have been a hotel room, a hospital room, a classroom, any kind of duct configuration or detail that shows up. I'm going to also copy in the systems and specs because there could have been multiple systems and specs within that same box. Once it's created here, we'll take a look at the items tab. And we can see there's a list of the duct fittings and even the symbols that were in that box. And now I could use this on other drawings throughout this project. Lastly, one of the most powerful tools is changing of shape. This particular job happened to have a minor amount of oval ductwork on it. So I'm going to convert that to rectangular. I'm going to filter to just seeing the supply system. This is similar to layers in CAD. And this helps me isolate that ductwork on the drawing. It hides all the other return system. So using the box and with options, I'm going to draw multiple boxes. And this allows me to go around the drawing if I needed and set up different areas to be modified all at once. Once I'm done with that, I again can go and I'm going to change shape. And I'm going to pick to go to oval to rectangular. We're going to allow the same duck height to remain and do our conversion. We are going to pick galvanized standards and you can create multiple standards for different types of ductwork. And it's going through and modifying these. To verify what it did, I will double click on a line and take a look and we can now see it's duct rectangular and I can cursor through my audit trail and my takeoff by using the next button and verify these things were truly converted to rectangular items. So there you have it. One of the most powerful tools in on-screen view, the box and with options.